So Eric, here we are again, and now you've got uh, some updates to the uh, Grainity that we saw in Prototype 4. Yes, indeed. Last year, which was presented in a prototype form, and it was uh, quite incomplete at the time. No, we have the final full version, which is uh, in, into manufacturing. In fact, we just missed the opportunity of getting them the whole batch ready from the factory, so they are finalizing them as we speak. So they're going to be shipping fairly soon? Excuse? They're going to be sh shipping fairly soon after? Yes, yes, indeed, absolutely. So let's go through, um, for those that haven't seen it before, give us a brief rundown of what it's got, because it's quite an unusual concept. Yes, the concept itself is, a, is a totally unique in the world of modular synthesis. Um, the idea was to, to do the equivalent of uh, granular synthesis, which is very known into oscillators, into the domain of filters. So here what the machine does is just to cut slices of sounds into different, different filtering modes and phases and reassemble them and rebuild the whole thing because you have a continuous stream of audio in coming in so there is no actual uh, storage or digital conversion of any kind. So it, it remains all in the analog domain but it is digitally, digitally controlled from the top. That's the idea. So there is a microprocessor in it but it's, it's only there to manipulate the audio circuitry underneath which is analog. So everything is in the analog domain? Yes, from in to out, it's really 100% analog uh, circuitry. Yes, for the audio path at least. And as I said, there is no conversion. At no point there is digital audio anywhere, in or out, in that, in that product. So how is it sliced? Is it the digital aspect that's creating the slices or controlling so the slices? So the, the, the main way is uh, to check the cycle of the incoming signal, and from that to decide on the slicing and assembling. So there are... Uh, tables called structures because they define more than just simple lists um, which say at each step what would be applied, what, what will be the next and depending on what happened before. And uh, these can be uh, are pre built in, in tables in, in lists according to their length because they each work in loop and they can be also called from the outside with a CV if needed. So this is part of the dynamic thing of the, of the machine. Moreover, these steps can cycle not only at the normal place with incoming cycle, but can also be imposed at a different frequency because we have a frequency analysis and retuning system which plays melodically inside. So you can, for example, decide to cycle at three times over two cycles of the incoming audio and create a fifth, because the thing is create, capable to create sounds which sounds like if you had some hidden oscillator inside somewhere, which is not the case just by uh, uh, reassembling the sound itself in different ways. And it's capable of creating harmonics, you were saying? Yeah. Mm. And then this um, cycling can also itself be divided by a separate control division, which can also be CV controlled, which makes that the, the change in the, in, the, in the filter application is not made every time, but every so many times, and you can divide it to very long length. That gives you the impression of a, a step sequencer, in fact also. So maybe we, sh we should hear some examples. Uh, yes, before I go into example, one last thing I didn't mention here is that there are in fact two filter outputs. We are, you have uh, that GVCF which is the granular VCF and then you have a multi-mode VCF which are independent. In fact you can choose one of, of the multi-mode filter here in that just by selecting with a knob and you can mix both which, 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 which is what I do here by using the mix knob, which is also CV control. In fact, okay. there are CV, seven CV controls on thi this machine, which gives plenty of possibility for dynamic here. But I will keep it simple for the demo by just using one LFO, changing gently the, the frequency, the overall frequency okay. of the system. So what are the seven factors that can be controlled by CV? So two are dedicated to the frequency control, and you have on one of them, you have a, a attenuverter, which allows you to manipulate the amplitude of the modulation in positive or negative uh -huh. mode. A dedicated one for the resonance with its all gain control to the Q here, which is resonance. And then you have, so that's the second uh, CV for the frequency, which is volt octave. And then you have this uh, phase and uh, tracking, which depending on the mode here up there can control 
the, 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 the assembling of the filter according to the phase position or according to a retuning that I mentioned earlier. And then you have the, the structure, which is the table selection somehow. And then you have the division also uh, to, to, to control I call the different divisions in the list. So these, these are, are the seven ones. And here is the detect input, which is complementary to the main audio in, which allows to decide the cycle not based on, on the order which is coming in, but something arbitrary, anything else, another oscillator, a step sequencer, whatever you want. Right. In audio or in, a, in low frequency, clock-like, or with clocks or waves or LFO, in fact, uh, almost anything, because this one works with a zero crossing detection. So uh, you mentioned the table of parameters. How many, um, how many in that table? Uh, in the, in the device here, I believe we should be around, I, I've not made the exact count because we finalized the table recently. Uh, I think we are around 40 or something like that. And they are organized by their length, which is shown here in the first digit. So by just this way, I can jump quickly through the different length, you see. And when, when I'm, I'm into a length, I can just select the length with the variation with the second digit, which is a letter. Uh, and the last one is the division the division that I can change on the fly also. Uh. Okay, so what are you going to show us? So what I will show here uh, is a quick, quick demo where uh, we have uh, the combination of the, of the two filters and the kind of effect we can ob uh, obtain with the, the granular filter. Okay, maybe you can explain what's happening as we go through. Yes. So first thing I will do here is just to let you hear the plain normal multi-mode filter, which is S nothing special, except it sounds good, as it should, hopefully. So, to do that, my mix is fully on the left side, which is the multi-mode filter. I'm into low-pass 4, and so I bring... Right now, what I do is I bring a simple uh, uh, saw from, from these uh, twin waves here to the input. And here, all I have is a, a slow LFO to modulate my frequency up and down. And this gives this. Um, so we have the different modes, of course. The band pass and... That's a, a, a notch filter also. For the purpose of mixing it with the granular filter, we also have the input signal that we can mix in, which might be useful as because we will discover that the granular filter can be so wild that you don't even recognize sometimes what was coming in initially. <laughs> right. So now I'm back to my normal, let's say, low pass, and we will mix something else here. We create a harmony because we are dividing, the in we are applying the incoming signal over three cycles uh, on top of two, which creates a, a fifth. Clever. And then I will apply some uh, tracking which will decode the incoming frequency and apply a different one. And retune and create like a, a, a chorus effect or phasing or flanging depending on the mode. That's nice.
then dividing. Big divisions. So what rate can you go down to in, in terms of the divisions? Uh, we can divide by 64, if I remember well. So we can go far, far deep. Wow. But we have also a dedicated table to do that. In the long, the, the, the long, the long ones, the, like the eight steps ones, we can have something like this. No, well, let's bring something more interesting like a unison sound so you, you can hear what it does by itself just by trying to, to, to decode what the, the incoming signal is. So, for example, I change this into something like here. I take a unison sound here. And so can we go back to the original input sound just to hear what it's doing to Yes, us? indeed. This is what uh, we'll do now. This is, what, this is what, what's coming in. Is this? And this is what we get out. And this is why I said we can combine it with the incoming sound. To have a bit of both. Given that it's such an, a new paradigm, has it taken you quite a long time to learn how it behaves? Um, the, the whole idea is, is from a long time ago, but it was quite difficult to put in place, technically. Um, it was so uh, new. We had no, no previous example of where, where, it would, where it would lead ultimately and show what could be done, what made sense or not. And we were indeed surprised by what the thing can do. Uh, it's, it's a more complex design here, that's, that's the module here, and as you could see from the back, it's really, really dense electronics. Wow. There's really a, lo a, lot of, a lot of, it's, it's, it's quite, quite busy. Really intense. Yeah. So it's our most, most complex and most uh, difficult module to, 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 to do. Hopefully it was done in 15 months not counting the years before where it was just awaiting to be started with uh, plenty of uh, hand notes. And you say it's going to be available very shortly after this Yes, show. indeed. Uh, at least the, the, the main uh, silver version, the black one will follow this summer. Uh, 
because the first batch was made in, uh, in the, the typical uh, bicolor, mainly silver uh, panel, uh, which is known of uh, Clavis Designs. Okay. And how much is it going to be? Um, it w the, the, um, the retail price uh, in euro will be 309 uh, euro. And it can be available on pre-order from uh, several um, shops already, uh, everywhere, e even in, in the US and in Europe, uh, yes. Oh, that's great. Thanks yeah. very much, Eric. Okay. Thank you to you.